everyone. In this video, I'm going to describe the test, which is called as the repetitive nerve stimulation test or RNST for short. I'm Dr. Manveer Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist in Delhi for the last 30 years. So what is this repetitive nerve stimulation test? As the name itself tells you that they are repeated stimuli, so that is repetitive. We stimulate a nerve stimulation and that's the test that is done. Why is it done? What kind of information does it really give us? So it's known that if you give a single stimuli or a single stimulus, you release a certain amount of a chemical which goes from the nerve to the muscle and makes the muscle contract. In this test, we give repeated stimuli so that we allow an increased number of chemicals in the quanta are chemical to get released, and then you will get multiple responses. This is known that in a normal individual, if you do give series of stimuli, there could be a small drop in the percentage or the quanta of neurotransmitter getting released. But in patients who have a nerve muscle junction problem, this is much more accentuated. So this test is a good test to detect the nerve muscle junction condition. And in these patients, their typical description of a symptom is something called as fatigue. Fatigue, especially when the task is continued. Like it will tell you that if I walk in the beginning, I'm okay, then I will get more tired. Um, reading initially is okay, but then the vision gets blurred. Chewing is okay in the initial part, then it gets tired. So the muscle fatigue occurs after a while. We are simulating a similar thing with this test, trying to detect that does the muscle get tired if you get it repeated stimuli. So it can go further and tell you where exactly is the problem. Is it in the beginning part of the nerve muscle junction or the muscle part of the nerve muscle junction, depending on what information we get. How does it differ from a nerve conduction test? A nerve test is a single stimulus that you give and which is recorded. And I'll just show you the sensors are the same. That's why there's a little confusion. These are the two sensors and they are placed on the muscle that you want to test. So if I'm testing the hand, they'll be placed here. If I'm testing the shoulder muscles, they'll be placed. And if I'm testing the face muscles, they'll be placed on the face. So the sites of placement are different. The type of stimulus given is different and the information received is different. And thus, this is the difference between the nerve conduction test or a simple nerve test versus the test, which is called as the repetitive nerve stimulation test. No uh, specific precautions are needed. The skin just needs to be clean because we need to put the electrodes and only medications which are acting on the nerve muscle junction, such as, you know, the pyridostigmine or the neostigmine are to be avoided, which you should share with your doctor and they will tell you whether to avoid or not. So I do hope that this has answered uh, some queries regarding why this test is done, how is it done, and how does it differ from a nerve test. Thank you so much for your attention. <laughs>